Hello everyone this is Rajik Today we will learn about select statement in SQL So the select statement is used to select data from a database The data written is stored in a result table called the result set So here we have to open the new query so new query option is available here so select that new query option then a query window will be opened now syntax of the select statement is we have to use select and then column name we want to select from the table so here in my previous video i have already loaded northwind dataset so here let us take this table to select all the columns from this table employees table we have to use the statement select star from this is the schema name dbo we have to give the schema name dbo dot employees c here we have to select the database as it is defaultly selected as master here we have to select northwind that is we have to check or or we will not get the result so here we have to select select start from employees so this gives the all the tables that is present in all the columns that is present in this table so here is a button called execute click execute see we have the result table here we have the details of the employee table so we have selected this by using this select statement now let us select columns so if you want only few columns from this table for example we want employee id and city then what we have to do is use the syntax select column name employee id employee id comma comma let us use city city from dbo dot employees so this statement gives the columns employee id and city let us run this statement click execute so see we have only two columns now since we have selected only employee id and city now let us select under table from here let us select order table to get all the columns select star from here the schema name dbo dot orders so select this and run click execute so this is the order table so here if you want only get q q column so for example we want order id column so select order id from dbo dot schema name is employees sorry not employees it is orders now run this statement execute so we will get order id from this table so so this is how we use the select statement 
to select the data from the database so if we close this if we want to save this we can click s and save the changes here it will be open uh, you can give the file name and just click save give any name and click save so this will be saved so this is how we use the select statement thank you